And then the Lord said, let there be light. Now that was a dramatic opener. But I assure you, at the end of this presentation, it's going to make perfect sense. Hello everyone, I'm Satadru from IIT Gandhinagar and today I'm going to give you a brief glimpse into my PhD research. So let's get going. Firstly, let me give you a brief introduction to nanomaterials. Please don't be alarmed that I use the word nano. It just means very, very small, like can't see with your eyes small. And when things get that small, strange things start to happen. Nanomaterials can be of three different kinds. Zero-dimensional nanomaterials look more like particles. Then there are one-dimensional nanomaterials which look more like rods or tubes. And then there are two-dimensional nanomaterials that look more like sheets and only one of the dimension is below 100 nanometers. The fun starts here. I work with two-dimensional nanomaterials. I work with a specific kind of material that are called transition metal diborides where a metal atom like titanium is sandwiched in between layers of boron. And over the years, I have developed an expertise in making nanosheets from the bulk material. So what are some of the properties of these nanosheets? These nanosheets can be produced in large enough quantities. These nanosheets can transform themselves into a gel-like substance. And if we combine enough of these nanosheets together, we can even make paper-like structure. But that's not all. These nanosheets can interact with light. Yes, visible light. You can say light excites these nanosheets. I got excited too. And I thought as a part of my research, can I utilize this for something good? So what did I do? Well, I simply tried to break apart water and produce hydrogen by using these nanosheets. But these nanosheets in and of themselves could not break apart water. That was a setback. But not to worry, help was on its way. Enter gold. Yes, we made gold nano triangles and we put them on top of the nano sheets to make them even more sensitive to light. And now when light was shown through, these nano sheets could indeed break apart water and produce hydrogen. The amount of hydrogen that was being produced was significant because we did not use any hi-fi stuff. But you might say, you did this inside the lab, so what? What about outside the lab? Well, I thought of it too. We know the sun is the biggest light source that this planet has. What if I could replicate my experiment under direct sunlight? So I simply took a test tube, coated it with my catalyst and filled it with water, placed it under sunlight. And there too, within minutes, hydrogen bubbles were being formed continuously. Not only that, this catalyst can be recycled multiple number of times. We all know the world is trying to move away from fossil fuels to alternative energy resources and hydrogen can be one such answer. My research here is but a humble step in that direction. Thank you.